Hello friends, this video on heat part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now have you ever wondered that why do we prefer to wear light colored clothes during summer? Now this, uh, the reason behind this also lies in the concept of radiation which we just discussed just now. So we talked about absorption right? So anything which absorbs more heat will become more hot. Anything which absorbs less heat will become less hot. That is the simple logic behind all this. So when we talk about light colored clothes, the light colors like white, cream, light pink, all these light colors, they have a tendency to reflect most of the light that fall on them. So as I told you that on any object, whenever radiation falls on any object, there are three options that can happen. Some light might get reflected, some light might get absorbed, some light might get transmitted. If more light is getting reflected, that means less light is being absorbed, right? So for with these light colors, most of the light gets reflected. Therefore, let light, less light is absorbed and therefore less it becomes less hotter. So therefore the person feels less hot. Whereas with dark colored clothes like black, they absorb maximum light. So they absorb maximum heat and therefore the body becomes hotter. So with light colors, the body remains cool and that is why light colors are preferred in summer. Why do we wear woolen clothes in winter? So how does wool help us to feel warm during winter? That's because wool is a pure, poor conductor of heat. So it doesn't allow heat to pass through it. So it traps all the heat. Now our body is continuously emitting heat, as I told you. Now when the body is emitting heat, what happens? This wool being a poor conductor, it doesn't allow that heat to go out of the body. So all the heat gets trapped. And when more heat is being trapped, so we feel warm. And also air is trapped between the wool fibers. So if you look at the wool fibers closely, they, the wool is knit like this, right? So whatever op open spaces you have in between them, through these, in these open spaces are present air. And air is again a poor conductor of heat. So air also doesn't allow heat to go out. So this air as well as wool, all of them together trap a lot of heat and therefore we feel warm, we feel hot. And therefore woolen clothes are preferred during winters. So no heat flow takes place from the body to surroundings. Now why do you think it is better to use two thin blankets than one thick blanket during winters? Now again when we are using multiple blankets what's happening between any two blankets there is one layer of air and air is again a poor conductor so air will trap heat and therefore it will provide us more warmth. So layer of air is being trapped between two blankets and this will add to insulation. This will add to the warmth of our body and that's how we will feel more warm. So if it is extreme cold, it is always better to uh, use two or three blankets rather than using just one thick blanket. Now why are utensils used for cooking blackened at the bottom? So why do you think it happens? If you observe the utensils, you will see that some of them have a copper coating at the bottom. Some of them are coated black. That's because these dark colors, they actually absorb a lot of heat. Now when they absorb a lot of heat, the temperature increases fast. Therefore the substances which are present inside, they tend to heat up quickly. So the cooking becomes faster. So black absorbs more radiation, therefore this helps in faster cooking. So see all these simple things which, keeps happen which keep on happening in our day to day life but we do not know the reason behind them. But they are all based on such small small concepts. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.